Now we have to attempt this last part, part F of the question number 2. And here, it is more appropriate for the values in column C of the table on page 6 to be recorded to the nearest second. So just one reason for this. So the thing is that if you look at the column C, let me show you. In column C, the values are not in to the nearest second, C over here. Instead, they are in milliseconds, right? That further in the fraction of seconds are recorded. So think over there when the uh, person who is performing the experiment or let's us we are doing the experiment and we are going to you know stop the timer so the time that is taken by us to stop the timer it could not be a perfect to a nearest second right because uh, you know that our reflexes is not that fast so there is a possibility that we might you know stop the timer a little early or a little late so that's why it is appropriate yes it is appropriate it is more appropriate to record the time to the nearest second and for that i would write over here that the time taken by the person who is doing the experiment would be you can say slow that it reacts slowly you can say the reflex action is slow that's what it is so that's why it is more appropriate uh, to record the time to the nearest second now we are left with last question, question number three. Usually, normally two questions come, but sometimes they do uh, pro give six, three questions instead. So, here what they are saying. A student investigates the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Okay, magnesium metal is there and a hydrochloric acid. To determine the order of reaction with respect to hydrochloric acid. Okay. The student is supplied with 2 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. So we got the concentration of hydrochloric acid that is provided to us. And 6 identical clean pieces of magnesium ribbon. Okay. In experiment 1, the student places 50 cm cube of 2 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. That is the volume of an acid for the first experiment. In a 100 cm cube beaker and adds a piece of magnesium ribbon to the acid in the beaker the student records how long it takes for the magnesium ribbon to disappear okay so what we did in the experiment one that we take 50 centimeter cube in a beaker and then we put our magnesium ribbon in it and then we recorded the time how much it takes for the magnesium ribbon to disappear okay now what they are saying next the student carries out five further experiments diluting 2 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid each time to provide results from five different concentrations of acid so okay when we mixing it with the water so what would happen that you know uh, the concentration gets uh, changed and it gets diluted and as a result the time taken for the mag by the magnesium ribbon to disappear would be you know increases or changes so it would help us to identify uh, the relation between the concentration and the rate and which further helps us to identify the order the student carries out each experiment in a 100 centimeter cube beaker okay complete the table so that so the st student can use it to record the reaction time for each experiment the table should include suggested volumes of acid water for each experiment columns should be suitably labeled okay so in the first column i think we can label 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ एसिड और इंस्टेड इफ आई राइट वॉल्यूम ऑफ एच सी एल इन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब देन इन द सेकेंड कॉलम आई विल टेक वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर डेट इज ऑल्सो टेकन इन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एंड द थर्ड कॉलम इज द कॉलम फॉर द टाइम विच मस्ट बी इन सेकेंड डेट वी रिकॉर्ड द टाइम वी नोट द टाइम दैट द टाइम टेकन बाय द मैग्नीशियम रिबन टू डिसअपेयर ओके सो इफ यू रिकॉल और इफ यू सी द टोटल वॉल्यूम इनिशियली टेकन वॉज फिफ्टी राइट सो फॉर द एक्सपेरिमेंट वन इट इज फिफ्टी पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेंटीमीटर क्यूब फॉर एसिड एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एंड हेयर आफ्टर द रिएक्शन इज परफॉर्म्ड एंड द टाइम इज रिकॉर्डेड द टाइम इज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर हेयर राइट ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू so for example what i can do i can take the 50 cm cube this one and i just add 10 cm cube water in it so obviously the solution get diluted and if the solution get diluted then uh, you know the time would be changed then and why i am increasing the volume because the total volume the total capacity is 100 cm cube so i can go up to the 100 cm cube so then 50 cm cube acid and 20 cm cube water then 50 cm cube acid and 30 cm cube water then 50 cm cube acid and 40 cm cube water then 50 cm cube acid and 50 cm cube water so each time i have adding uh, 10 more cm cube of a distilled water and which will lead to the decrease in the concentration of hydrochloric acid and obviously the time taken by the uh, reactants uh, by the reaction to be decrease uh, to be increase because you know the speed goes down as the solution becomes diluted now identify the dependent variable in this experiment so if you see the dependent variable is the time because it is depending upon the concentration of the hydrochloric acid so that uh, we can write over here that it is the time taken by the reaction to end or you can say by the or magnesium ribbon to disappear okay next part apart from the magnesium ribbon identify one variable that should be controlled in these experiments so you can you are easily aware of this that temperature is the most important variable which must be controlled if we have to you know uh, figure out the uh, effect of concentration on the rate so if we are doing two or three or four experiments so each experiment must be uh, occurred at the same temperature to get the effect of the change in concentration so here i may write that it's a temperature over here okay now b part explain why the students proposed method of determining the reaction time may lead to inaccuracies in the recorded result uh
सो इट इज ओनली वन पॉसिबिलिटी ओवर हेयर बिकॉज यू नो द मैग्नीशियम इज डिजोल्व एंड देर इज अ फिजिंग अराउंड द मैग्नीशियम बबल सो इट माइट बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट डन समटाइम्स इट वुड गेट डिफिकल्ट टू फिगर इट आउट वेदर द मैग्नीशियम हैज डिजोल्व और नॉट और एक्चुअली वेन इट इज डिजोल्व सो I can write that it is hard to tell when magnesium has dissolved now the last part so just one other variable that could be measured to determine the order of the reaction okay beside this what we do we know the concentration of the reactant and we know the time taken so beside this to find the order of a reaction uh, you know in this reaction as the gas is forming so we can record the mass of the gas that is produced uh, each time per in each experiment per unit time so we can write over here that uh, volume of gas liberates i hope is it's clear to everyone